Okay, we're gonna do another book review. Today's book will be The Bowlin Inheritance by Philippa Gregory. I'm gonna start by saying this is not my kind of book. I don't really like historical fiction. I don't like royal court intrigue. There are too many characters, there are too many teams, too many different shifting agendas. They exist in a world where everyone has like 17 ulterior motives and no one can be trusted. To me, they always feel like the characters are less human and more just betrayals wrapped in sneers. I don't think real people are that cold, that calculating, and frankly, most people aren't smart enough to be. They just don't match my vision of the world and humanity. And this is very much that kind of book. It follows three women. Two who will be King Henry VIII's fourth and fifth wives, and a woman who provides evidence against both when they are accused of treason. Spoilers. And I hate all of them. Which is what I dislike about this kind of book. If I'm gonna spend more than 500 pages with your characters, I want to like at least a few of them. And the only tolerable human being in the entire lot was Gregory's portrayal of Anne of Cleves. Jane was an unreliable narrator who switched opinions by the page and was happy to condemn others to whatever fate awaited them to save herself, all while decrying how little responsibility she had for her own actions. Catherine was every insulting stereotype of a teenage girl exaggerated to the point of parody. She was dumb, shallow, malleable, and slutty enough it was uncomfortable to be reading about a 15-year-old girl doing that shit. And then there was Anne. Anne was frankly stupid. Gregory made a big deal about saying she wasn't stupid, just struggling with a language barrier, then showed her being shocked by the same information repeatedly, ignoring everything she had learned, trusting people she was just thinking she shouldn't trust, and generally acting like she had no idea what world she lived in. Which brings me to one of my two biggest arguments against this book. Structurally and linguistically, this book is redundant to the point of infuriating. Not only did we often have to read the same event from all three POV characters' perspectives, but there were entire chapters that were just rehashing the same train of thought as the previous chapter from that point of view. I swear to God, Anne has three different chapters that were just her realizing again that Henry does, doesn't want his daughters at court. And each time it's presented as if this is new, shocking line of thought for her. I'm going to have to wave over a lot of other terrible things, like rape, incest, statutory rape, murder, tyranny, religious strife, anachronistic questioning of the monarchy. I'm letting all that go as part of historical fiction genre so that I can jump to my one big other complaint. This book manages to strip almost every single iota of agency from its main characters. Everything they do is at the wish, command, or request of powerful men. Even Anne's great escape from Henry is presented as her just signing a sheet of paper she did not wish to, when backed into a corner and then just hoping and praying that the Mad King never came for more vengeance from her. And we could probably argue all day about the historical accuracy of these characters being absolute pawns of the great men, but it just does not a compelling narrative make. Maybe I'm weird, but I prefer books where the protagonists have a will of their own. And for all the talk of freedom, I saw none of it in this book. This is a redundant, repetitive book about terrible women doing terrible things to each other at the behest of more terrible men. I wanted to like it because it was given to me by a friend who likes it, but no, I just couldn't. I am not the market of this book.